Of all the performance products we buy for our cars, probably the least appreciated has to be the tires, especially in the rain. Today, we're testing out the new Goodyear Eagle F1 asymmetrical. So you might ask yourself, who in their right mind would test out a tire on a day like today? Well, this is the real world, and this is a real world tire. It is a summer tire, so it's not meant to be used in the snow or ice or anything else, but rain like this, perfect. Now, we all know that we have basically four palm-sized pieces of rubber connecting our car to the ground. But when it comes down to it, how many of you really give that much thought to your tires? Besides just the tread being asymmetrical, the construction of the tire is asymmetrical as well. So with the asymmetrical belt design and the asymmetrical sidewall design, what you're actually going to get in the real world is in a straight line, accelerating, braking, coasting, whatever, your contact patch is gonna go straight across a tire like this. And you'll end up with kind of this oval shape contact patch. Now, when you start cornering, uh, it'll actually start rolling over onto the sidewall here. And you'll actually get a contact patch that's almost triangular shaped. And what that means is you'll have the same amount of rubber on the ground, but you'll also get more of this cornering section. While this pretty much sums up our morning, Southern California's third storm of the century for the year broke pretty quick, and we ended up with a beautiful day like this. Now this tire faces some real competition. Uh, the, the big dog in this category has always been the, the Michelin PS2. And well, this is a lot newer tire, so you can expect it to be better, which it is. And it does a lot of things that uh, the Michelin doesn't. Um, it, it seems to have more grip, and yet it still rides better and it's quieter. These tires don't bang over cracks like a lot of high-performance tires. Uh, part of that is, I'm, I'm sure, because uh, Goodyear has aimed this more at kind of the luxury market, and it really does ride nice. Now this tire definitely has a little bit softer sidewall than a lot of the other tires that have this kind of grip. And when you're up here in canyons, it's actually kind of nice because with the softer sidewall, you get kind of a lot more predictability. You're not wondering what the tire is going to do corner to corner. This is definitely the kind of tire you want on a daily driver. With the noise and the ride quality, it's hard to beat this. Like most high performance tires now, the Eagle F1 has a pretty high silica content. Um, they've taken out some of the carbon black and put the silica in. Now what that means is better tread life, uh, the compound will actually hold up better over tread life, and also you get a lot better grip in the wet. Now these are actually a really well priced tire. Um, you would think if it's competing with something like a, a PS2 that even in 17-inch, uh, it would be around $200 a tire, which is where the, the PS2 is. But uh, normal price on these is about $160, $165, something like that. But we actually got them through Tire Rack, and we got them for $140 a tire. If you're looking for a performance tire for your daily driver, and noise and ride comfort is important to you, you're going to have a tough time beating this tire. <laughs>